It's about that time of year, isn't it? Time to open up the windows, get some fresh air, and clean out that clutter. If you're like me, you like to keep things nice and tidy, and that means getting rid of the things you don't need and making sure that the things you do are readily available. So yes, I'm here to remind you that AppDynamic should be a part of your spring cleaning and organizational routine. I'd like to share a few tips to help you keep things tidy. Since AppDynamics names business transactions based on the first two segments of a URI, they may not be the most meaningful. With AppDynamics, we can rename business transactions to something more relevant. We can also group transactions that correspond to related resources, such as web application jar files, Java servlets, or perhaps according to demographics. This will provide you with aggregated metrics, so may be ideal for performance analysis. You can delete old or stale transactions, which could perhaps be skewing the metrics. In turn, we can exclude transactions that are thought as being inconsequential for the business. Deleting is different from excluding in the sense that the latter will permanently prevent the transactions from coming into measurement, whereas deleting a transaction allows it to be rediscovered if the corresponding function is called from the active application. And finally, you can create custom transaction detection rules. There are already a number of detection rules you can tailor, or you can create a new one. For example, you may want to exclude a certain Python HTTP parameter or method class. I presented a few spring cleaning routine options to help you organize your business transactions. In our documentation, we'll get into much greater detail. How you organize your business transactions will provide the relevancy you need to be efficient and gain the most value out of AppDynamics. Have a tip you'd like to share? Share it on our community share tip section and who knows, maybe your tip will be the next tip of the month. Thanks for watching.